Hi, Tori. Hello. <laughs> so, what we are doing here is we're just going to do a little bit of a more in-depth interview with you about you and about Tilla, because we thought it might be fun to let our audience get to know you all a little better before you all try and kill each other over the next two weeks. Um, <laughs> because that seems like a good idea to me. So... I guess let's start with how did you end up in the arena? How did you find out about us and end up doing this thing? Okay, so I found out about the arena through my sister, Megan, who is also in the arena, who did the level 20 battle. Mm -hmm. um, and she's like, this is so much fun. You should do it. You should do it. And I was just like, I'm not sure I have the time or whatever. She's like, it's Friday nights. It'll be fine. Or Friday nights for us. Yeah. Um, and uh so i was like and then the spot opened up and i was like yeah I'm, I'm in i'll do it i'll give it a shot and uh i've had tilla around for quite some time so i kind of was like that's the character i definitely want to play um and brought her in and here i am cool i want to talk about her a little bit because she's a hummingbird okay. and that's a bit yes. weird yes. <laughs> <laughs> tell me how you ended up with a hummingbird <laughs> So I've always had a fascination with like D&D &D races that have like fly speeds or wings or things like that. I don't know why. I just always have. Um, and so I love Aarakocra. Um, I don't know if I'm ever saying that right, but that's how I've Me always neither. said it. Me neither. It's all good. <laughs> um, so I was kind of putting together and trying to find like interesting like races and like subclasses and things like that. And I stumbled across art of like a parrot Aarakocra. And I was like, that's so cool. It's so colorful, all this stuff. And that's when I was like, a hummingbird. I would <laughs> love to do a hummingbird. So that's kind of how she was born. Um, and then I was like, what would be a really cool class for a hummingbird? And I was just thinking, you know what? A grave cleric would be hilarious. Yeah. So I was like, yep, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Because it's kind of a, it's almost a, like, what's the word I want? Like they don't kind of go and that makes yeah. them go, if that makes sense. Exactly. <laughs> yes. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. There is a word cool. for that, but I can't think of it right now. <laughs> yeah. I want to say anachronistic, but that is, has to do with time, not with, anyway, you yeah. know what I mean. I know what you're um, talking about. <laughs> hopefully so does everyone watching this. Yeah. Um, so tell me about you and D&D. &D. Have you always played D&D? &D? Are you new to D&D? Um, well, I'm relatively new. It's been about four, five, oh, I think it's coming up on five years now. Um, it's, it's been passes, a while man. now. Time, time goes. <laughs> um, but I got into D and D through my significant other. Um, my boyfriend introduced uh, critical role to me actually, and is like, you're going to love this. You should check it out. So I am going to like, I decided to check it out and I fell in love with it and I binge watched all the episodes I had missed. I came in towards the end of the Briarwood arc. Oh um, yeah. And so you're still yeah, fairly was early on. Yeah. Fairly, fairly early on. Mm. And so I caught up and then I've been watching live ever since. And it's just been a wild ride. And about two years after watching Critical Role, I was like, you know what? I want to try this. I want to like actually play. So I got a group of people together um some of my boyfriend's friends and we played and it was so much fun um he was actually the dm for us and then i was like you know what i want to try dming so i wound <laughs> up making a game for my uh family at home i convinced my parents to play with us me and nice. my sister and so we've all been playing and having a grand old time and uh now i'm actually getting ready to stream a game for the first time that's it's so exciting, exciting and nerve-wracking um, well, I know about actually, this, but tell our audience. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we actually, I got roped into this because my sister was in the Battle Royale, the tw level 20 game. Yep. And after the fact, they got along so well. They're like, we should do a game together, all this stuff. We just need a DM. And my sister comes up to me and is like, uh, how do you feel about DMing? I was like, oh, I love it. Why? <laughs> She's like, well, are you willing to run a game? I was like, sure, why not? And now we're getting ready to stream. Uh, Twist awesome. of Fate is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. That's very, very cool. I, it makes me so happy because when they were talking about playing a game, I was like, oh man, I'd love to do that. But I also know that September's coming and I know what my life gets like and I can't <laughs> really commit to it. Um, but I have threatened to pike in from time to time. Absolutely. And we have a character for me to me do know. it with. It's just yes. timing. Possibly next week, actually. Ooh. Maybe that's because... 
We don't have any chill next week. Ooh, okay. Um, but we'll see because it's also Wolfenute and Christmas and ah! so. <laughs> <laughs> Totally understand. Um, but yeah, no, that's cool. It, I love that it turned into a thing. I love that it yeah. turned into a thing because there was yeah, such great real. chemistry in that game. That level 20 game was just... There was great chemistry Phenomenal. between the players. So. Yeah. That's cool. It was a very entertaining fight to watch as well. I'm glad. It was entertaining to be in, but it's always hard to know how much of that translates to screen. I don't know whether people who've been doing it longer are able to tell, but yeah. I don't yeah. know. Um, so I kind of want you to tell us a little bit more in depth about Tilla and her backstory, because when I got you guys to introduce your characters, it was very brief. Um, so just kind of a little bit about where she comes from, um, like in world, if that makes sense. And what okay, she's okay. doing here. Why is she fighting in this ridiculous contest? Okay. <laughs> well, Tilla is like most teenagers. She's a young Eric Roca. Um, I want to say she's three in bird years, which is like teenage years. Yeah. Um, and so I love that she, she's, she she ages in bird years. <laughs> bird years, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and she's filled with that like teenage like spirit of like unstoppableness. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Invincible. So, yeah, invincible. Nothing can nothing can yep. come bad to her. Yeah. Um, so when she heard about the arena, she was like, "I'm definitely going to do it. And I'm definitely going to win because how could anything stop me?" Sure. Um, <laughs> So that's, that's kind of how she got into the arena. But uh, I actually had her adapted for a homebrew game that I was in um, that was all about, and this is going to sound totally weird, but all about elements. So each person represented an element. And then there yep. was a, like a, a fifth world that had no element attached to it. And that's where uh, she was from. Right. And so she kind of like just grew in her cleric skills. Her parents were uh, uh, healers of some sort um, yep. and did that kind of stuff. Um, and she's always had a way with the unnatural. Um, always, like her parents always joked she could talk to ghosts, but yeah. really she could. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so always cared about making sure spirits moved on properly and things like that is very respectful of the dead, but not very respectful of the living. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you, you only matter after you die that makes sense exactly yeah <laughs> cool so what if yeah. she wins Ooh. what does that mean she, to her she would be very excited um and she would also be i think it would feed into her ego of that unstoppableness <laughs> um i think she would be very like egotistical <laughs> um just sure. being like I i'm the best of the best how could anybody i mean i've always known it but now yeah. it's true now it's been proved, kind of a yeah. thing yeah. yeah so so what do you tori think of tiller's chances Ooh, after after this last this this last session that we had mm -hmm. of the surprise round um i'm, I'm a little concerned um but we'll see. She's, she's got some things tucked up her, her bird wings. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Who are you fighting in, the, in your first part? I think uh, Helviti. Ah, Helviti. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So that will be Bards a bard versus clerics. a cleric. Yeah. yeah. Hummingbird versus Tiefling. No, no, gnome. She's a deep gnome. Yes. Yeah. It'll be interesting. It'll be a good one. It will be interesting. I'm quite excited about these fights because they, like, like the first level fights were very squishy and very kind of short mm -hmm. and to the point, and these ones will be more juicy. I think when we, because we, uh, we intend to do another, essentially another season in the new year, but I think we're going to start people at level three, um, okay. just to yeah. give it a bit more crunchiness. Yeah, <laughs> a little one-shot kill. <laughs> yeah, just to make it a bit more interesting. Um how so for us this has been very experimental and it's been very much like making it up as we go along kind of trying to adapt things and even things out as we went along trying to make it make more sense because we didn't really know how it was going to work what has it been like being a player in that environment <laughs> that is it's kind been, of it's been fun um i i think it's 
I think not knowing what was going to happen actually like added to like the suspense and the excitement mm-hmm. because you didn't know like especially with like the contests of the like strength, wisdom, dexterity, yep. all the kind of contests. I think those have been super exciting because you never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. And with having there's been nothing like this has never happened before, so it's not even like you can compare like no. to past seasons. Yeah. So it's been totally like it's it's a little anxiety producing, but also very sure. exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder about that because I wonder how much I'm going to have to change in season two to keep that level of we don't quite know what's coming. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, it, it, it's always that thing, right? That if you're in the first one, you have no idea. And I yeah. can throw anything at you and it doesn't matter. But in the second one, it, <laughs> then I've got to like compare it to previous and be like, is this too predictable? Am I just repeating myself? <laughs> yeah no I think it's good I, I've really enjoyed it it's been a wild ride and I've enjoyed watching like the other bouts mm-hmm. too because it's fun to see like you know oh could I potentially be competing against this person in the yep. future and kind of seeing everybody's strategies and how they go about playing it's been it's been a really cool experience good I'm glad I'm glad to hear yeah. that um so oh I just thought of a question and now it's like literally just flown out oh i hate when that happens that's the worst i had it right here and then it just went bye yep (laughs) oh Um, i know what i was gonna say so we are planning on starting from next week making it possible for our chat to essentially bet on the characters with channel points Right, so we're going to see if we can turn our channel points into like gold pieces and then people will be able to bet on their thing, on, you know, on the characters. Would you bet on Tilla? I, for our fight? The upcoming fight? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I have, I have good faith in her. I think she's, (laughs) she's, she's something special for sure. (laughs) You say you've got some tricks up your sleeve. I'm not going to ask you what they are because we don't want to give <laughs> strategies away. Um, yeah. But I guess, do you have anything you would like to say to people who are considering betting on her? I mean, she's cute. She's spooky. She's fun. I mean, what what else can you ask for? Oh, in a, in a <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, she's cool. very, she's a very passionate player so or a character so i think it would be it, it just kind of shows in her like demeanor and how she plays and all of that stuff so mm-hmm. i think the element of like flight is very interesting too um i think that yeah. adds for a lot of unique um interactions and how you know strategies and things like that so yeah yeah um except when someone puts you to sleep you take damage uh, yeah that that's a struggle <laughs> That is the only problem. Clever. Clever, yes. though. So, I haven't actually looked to see if it's likely, but I suppose it is possible that you will at some point be fighting your sister. Yes. How, how do you think that will go? <laughs> I actually, we actually had a talk about this uh, after the last secret, or the s- s- surprise episode. Yep. Um, and she's like, that would be so much fun. Um, because we off, we don't often get to play together because either her or I DM. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of times that we never have that interaction of mm. player to player interaction. So I think it'd be really interesting to see us both against each other. Um, I, I don't know. She's, she's a tough cookie. So she's very, she's a very creative player. Oh, she is. She comes up with things that are quite, yeah. Yeah. Out of yeah. the field. It's awesome. It's so. awesome. <laughs> It would it would concern me to go against her because she is so clever. <laughs> but you know, I think I think I I could hold my own. <laughs> so your mum is a critter. Your mum is one of yes. my elves and one of my yes. crit elves. Um, if you guys played against each other, do you think she would support one of you, or would she <laughs> would she be diplomatic? <laughs> <laughs> she would be diplomatic. She would be diplomatic. Um, she's she has a hard time. Like she was so excited that we were both on the same team this last yeah this last episode because she's like, oh, now I don't have to, f- to f- pick one over the yeah. other or f- you do for both. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think she would pick one of us. Mm. Maybe she would, but I don't think so. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I turned her into a critter quite early on actually um back when i was before i got my the rest of my family involved in critical role um she used to like i would have it up on my laptop while i was doing college homework and stuff and she would come in and like she would linger 
and watch over my shoulder. And then eventually she would like sit down and watch a little more and like ask questions and things like that. And then the next thing you know, we're both watching it together. <laughs> a lot of us have this story. I started watching Critical Role because when Adam, Adam was living here in Hamilton and I was still living in Wellington and I was coming to visit quite frequently. Um, and he was watching it one weekend when I was visiting and it was okay. it was very early on. It was like the Crag Hammer, like when they first oh. fought the Beholder. Like that episode yeah. was the first yeah. episode I saw. Um, and yeah, and I, I I got engrossed, and then I went home to Wellington and started back at the beginning, and just <laughs> yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. It's so easy to get involved in it, though. Like it just it sucks is. you in. Oh, it is. I love it. And then, and I had never played D&D. Like I had no D&D experience at all. And then I ended up DMing a game in Wellington as a direct result of Critical Role, which I think is a story a lot of us tell. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think Critical Role (laughs) has brought out a lot of nerds. Yep. (laughs) Yep. Cool. This wasn't meant to be about Critical Role. It was meant to be about you. (laughs) (laughs) But I feel like that's, you know, the way these things go sometimes. Um, Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us before we stop or tell the Um, audience about you or about Tilla? I think I've covered Tilla pretty well. She's, Mm. she's awesome. She's a cool character. Um, as far as me, yeah, she is quite fun. Why does she have a witch's hat? I, I don't know. I think when I think of grave clerics, I think of like, like witches and I don't know why I just Hmm. do and I make that association and so I was thinking like okay how can I like play into that and I was like you know what spooky witch hat vibes you know like (laughs) that teenage phase you go through of where like you wear something that you think is super cool but it might not be super cool cool. yeah (laughs) yeah I like that it's all purple as well which like completely goes against the whole I am so deep and bright purple (laughs) (laughs) so i wonder how many people play DD characters that just have because my the the character i play in our home game is a similar thing she's like a 19 year old tabaxi sorcerer who tells everyone she's 23 you know and she she (laughs) thinks she's much cooler than she actually is and Mm -hmm. she's absolutely certain she has all the answers but she also secretly knows she doesn't and like i just wonder how many of us actually play like just revisit that period of our lives because it's fun to do it without all the angst. (laughs) Exactly, exactly. You can do all the stupid shit without like Mm -hmm. having to actually feel the drama. Exactly. The way you do when you're actually 19 pretending to be 23. Yeah. (laughs) Fake IDs and all, you know. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Except it's D&D world, they don't do ID checks. I've never been to a D&D tavern where they check my ID. No, me neither. That's cool, though. (laughs) So uh, the only other thing I would say is, you know, like, obviously, you'll be joining us, hopefully, for some of our games, but to check out our game at some point. We will be hosting it once it's up and running. We will definitely host it if it's not on at a time when we're on, which I don't think it is. Um, So, yeah. Awesome. I'm excited to watch it. I'm so excited. See all these for characters it. reappear that I got to watch beat the crap out of each other. I know. <laughs> and now they're friends. <laughs> they're friends. Who would have thought? <laughs> all right. Cool. Um, thank you very much for your time today. Of course. Um, and we will be putting this up on all our social media places relatively soon. Um, and we will see you next week. You're fighting next week, right? I this... am in the contest next week. Oh, you're in the contest next week. You're in the following yes. week's bouts. Yeah. Well, we will see you next week anyway um, yes. to find out how wise, how wise mm-hmm. you are. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. You're awesome. Thank you for being here. I love you. Thank you. Love you too. <laughs> Bye. Bye.